What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing? <laughs> well, Gary and Roxanne and I are going to get to work on uh, some camp stuff, some 41.36 togetherness stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do today. Um, the last couple of days, we've been really getting our, our family kind of regrouped a little bit, powwowing, talking about goals and objectives. And um, I mean, it's getting to be that time of year, right? Yes. Harvest time, the seasons are changing, summer is kind of winding down, and we're looking forward to the months ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. That being said, we're not going to need the pool anymore. No. You know, summer's kind of over. Yeah. Yeah. And we're over summer. Yeah, yeah. we're we're all over summer. <laughs> and I'm over trying to keep this freaking pool clean. <laughs> yeah. So it actually uh, was very nice for us all during the summer. I know you guys didn't see a lot of that on the channel. Um, it was mostly within the first couple of summer months. The kids were playing it a lot. And then what happened was is that it went green and we were never really able to fully, fully revive it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I tried. I tried, I tried, I tried. The only other thing I could have done was siphon the water out, like trying to clean it that way. So nothing got back into the filters, but yeah, yeah. it was a nightmare. You know, speaking of the filters, there's probably um, a little bit of a misconception because we do have that one video where it talks about our redneck pool filter, yeah. which works out fabulously, friends. Yes. But it's not for algae and it's not for cleaning your pool in that kind of a way. It's for if you have a well or you have a lot of minerals inside your well water, um, sometimes your water will be cloudy. Sometimes you're, um, you know, with us in particular, we have a lot of iron in our well water. And so as soon as we add in the chlorine, it turns brown like chocolate milk. It's like a chemical reaction that happens. And so our little redneck pool filter is good at uh, siphoning out all of the minerals in the pool, but it doesn't really help out much when you get so full of algae. In fact, uh, it wasn't just algae, it was all these pine needles. Take a look at our swamp. Now, Gary has drained it, <laughs> yes. but you can kind of see what we were working with in the battle that we were facing. <sighs> I know. Yeah. I know. And it was nonstop trying to get it to be green or not green. I yeah. start went like trying to think, oh yeah, I'm going to win it. I'm going to win it. I'm going to win it. And then, yep. you got to be kidding yeah. me. I seen it go green and then it was cloudy. Yep. yep. And it went green and then it was like, eh. Man. <laughs> and then we waved the white flag and we surrendered and spent our time at the lakes and at the creeks and, and other <laughs> things like that. So um, today though, guys, it is uh, getting to be the end of summer and we've got our very first trash pickup scheduled for tomorrow. Um, during our morning powwow this morning with Country Road Cure, walking the kids down to the bus stop, we all talked about it and we said, you know what, today is a good day to finally get Get that pool down and maybe do a quick yard pickup so Roxanne's already been out here getting it this morning oh yes yes I made room in the tent for the pool and, yep yep I'm ready to go got some trash to throw away yeah <laughs> yeah us too yeah. we still got to go gather up a little bit of trash and she's a, a step ahead of us because our our tent is still We'll get into that in a whole. We'll get into that in a minute. All right. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, first things first, though, friends, that we're going to tackle today is we're going to get this pool, um, I guess, ready for winter and ready to wait for us for another season. Yeah. And then we'll holler back at you in a minute. So, y'all ready? Yeah, we're going to change the feel over here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fall time. Let's get it.
Hercules, Hercules. You got it, Gary. I'm so glad we got like literally all the water out of this. I'm not hearing any sloshing around or. There's a little bit in there, but we got most of it out. You are right. You want it on this side or? Yeah, just try to. Or you want it up against that right yeah, here? Yeah, just put it, you can put it right here, like on the ground. I think it'll be okay. I don't think it gets too wet right there. You want me to push it back that way or? Yeah, it should be okay. I just more or less worry about this. Moves, you know? Yeah. Um, would it be better if you leaned it up there? Yeah, lean it up there. Yeah, that would cool. be alright. Let's see if I can. Or, I don't know. Let's just put it. Oh, that should be maybe okay. Do we want to stick all the poles and stuff on top of it? Or just put them on the outside. You can oh, just set no. them on the outside by you the can ladder. Maybe squish, squish it. it in so it's not slapping it. around. Yeah, because I just worry about this blowing up. Not be our luck. It'll be you know a snowstorm. Yeah. And the pool's hanging way out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the uh, the bag for all the elbows? Uh, I put it in that pop tote. Okay. Well, so I'll put the totes in there too. All right. That's good. Any of my other stuff I got going on, so. Sweet, well. Perfect, perfect. And that's it. Well, where there once was a pool, there is nothing now. <laughs> yeah. And just like that, the pool is down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now that we have this open space, I'm really not sure what we're gonna do for it for the fall and winter. Honestly, probably nothing. Yeah. Um, it'll probably just be a spot that the kids can go and play with, you know, their things. Um, we do have plans to put it back up here in the same spot again next summer. Yep. And uh, next summer, we're probably going to re-level out the sand. We might build a little tiny deck for around it, make it a little bit more legit. But uh, yeah. Yes. That's going to have to come next year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got plenty of plans for this fall, though. Yes, yes, we have enough to keep us busy this fall, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, now that that's done, um, we're going to move along to uh, picking up all of our trash and stuff. We've got to drag a couple of boxes and bags over to uh, the dump. Gary and I still have to pick up all of our trash and take it to the dump, and we still have to get onto our storage tent because yep. it's a bomb. Yeah, yep. and we're about to show you what we mean about that, but I think for right now, we're all about ready to go take a nice lunch break, um, and then we'll meet back up with you here in just a minute to keep it going. Oh, yeah. All right, so we just finished up eating lunch and taking a quick break, and um, I actually wanted to pull out something that I'm going to make me and Gary try. Have any of you guys ever heard of or seen or tasted this before? because I went to the store the other day and I got some fruits and different things for the house and I seen this and it looks like some sort of weird under the sea crustacean to me. I don't know, check it out. They're called um, Rambutan, I guess. I'm probably butchering it, but check this out. What in the world is that? Like what? <laughs> It looks like something that falls from a tree or like something that should be living underneath the sea somewhere, gonna wash up on a shore, at least to me. Apparently though, it's a fruit. Never had it, never heard of it, never saw it. The internet says that it actually tastes pretty good, so Gary and I are gonna give it a test try and then we're gonna get back to work. Yeah, I know it's weird, but I don't know, try new things. So how you're supposed to do it, what I read on the internet, is you're supposed to just take it and kind of 
cap it off. <gasps> well, that worked, didn't it? Oh, and look, there's this, this underneath there. And I guess that's what you're supposed to eat. I'm gonna make Gary try it first. Here you go, babe. Make me try it first, Mm-hmm. You're supposed to just squeeze it and it pops out. It's juicy. It's got a pit in it. It's got a pit, okay. Well, you didn't spit it out, so. Before I get his thoughts, I can't leave him hanging like that. I gotta get myself one. So yeah, you're just supposed to kind of like crack open the top. Mm hmm. Hmm. Tastes like a. I'd say it tastes like a pear mm -hmm. more than anything. I'd say a pear. Mm -hmm. Very more, a lot more interesting in the sense of coverage and everything, but it tastes like a pear to me. I 100% agree with that. It tastes like a pear. I, I don't. I don't say it tastes like a consistency, anything. flavor, everything. Everything tastes like, exactly like a pear. I'm gonna make the kids try it when they get home and they're gonna be so scared, but <laughs> they'll like it, they'll like it. Well, that's uh, here's to trying something new, friends. I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Rambutan. Crazy. Well, now that lunch is over, it's time for Gary and I to tackle the storage shed. Yep. The wind has gotten to it, and um, essentially, so what happened was, is that we had a pretty good storm blow through a while ago, and it rattled the whole tent around, and stuff got knocked over, and then the dogs got in there, and the cats got in there, and now it looks like a twister hit it. So. Yeah. Everything is everywhere. And it's not really usable as a storage tent right now. I mean, I guess it is. It's keeping everything stored, but we need to situate this so that way we can keep progressing forward. So yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. And be careful, because last time I was in here and it looked like this, there was a snake in here, remember? Mm-hmm.
Well, that was a lot of work. And man, this is looking so much better. Arguably not perfect, but at least we have a floor again. And we know where all the Christmas decorations is, Halloween stuff, stuff that we're just holding on to until we get our cabin done. We know where it all is and it's not on the floor to get, you know, the rain coming through and getting it messed up and molded, etc., etc. We were able to get a lot of this stuff out and into our new dumpster and the dumpster is getting mighty full if I do say so myself. So, oh, that's fantastic. And yeah, the kids just got home from school and uh, I'm getting ready to have to go start making dinner. We're gonna have some uh, lo mein tonight with some chicken. It is getting to be about that time. Um, the kids just got home from school and me and Gary are honestly, we're pooped. It's hot, we're exhausted. It's been a very busy last few days, so I'm not sure if Gary is gonna get to marking out where these blocks were going to go or not. That was something that we had originally planned to do today, but I just don't know if it's gonna happen. And you know what, that's okay. Cause I feel super duper accomplished. We got the pool down, got our storage shed taken care of. And that's, that's production, that's a good day. So anyway, like I said, the kids just got home from school. We got them starting to do their chores. Um, and I'm gonna have them help me out with some of this trash around the yard to get cleaned up. I'm gonna have them go around with a bag and pick it up. But before I do, I want to see their reaction to that really weird fruit. <laughs> Rambutan. Rambutan. Welcome home. Welcome. <laughs> How was school today? Good. Good. What are you doing, Abe? Hiding. Hiding, weirdo. Anyway, guys, mom and dad got something when we went to the store the other day. What? And I want you guys to try it. I'm going to open it up for you guys, and you guys got to try it all at the same time, okay? Okay. Okay, kids, so when I was at the store the other day, I came across something, and they are called Rambutans. Rambutans. And you guys are gonna eat it. And, no it doesn't. They look like this. No! You guys are gonna eat it. Okay, here, examine it. Here you go. It doesn't smell good. Here you go. It doesn't it's smell wet. Good. It's wet. It's wet. Uh huh. Here you know, I hate those things. It essentially looks like someone's hair. Okay, come here. I'm gonna show you guys how you eat these. So now that you feel it, what does it feel? What does it feel like? Hair. It feels like nose hair. Like nose hair? Yeah. It's pretty accurate. It feels like long nose hair. Gross. Yeah, air eyebrow hair. Ew. Eyebrow I hair. I don't like it. Yeah. Then you could spit it out. Okay, so here's how it goes, guys. Look. First, you just cut open a little piece. Yeah, there. You're gonna. There is a pit. Are you gonna grow them? No, you can't grow them here. There is a pit. An arm pit. Okay, Abe. See that? That's what you're gonna eat, that white part. You're gonna squeeze this right here and suck that white part out. Hold it. <laughs> you guys are all gonna eat it at the same time. Come here. Come here, everybody stand up over here. Mama mia! Come here, you too, Julia. On the count of three, one, two, eat it. No. It's a rambutan. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. So what did you guys think of the rambutan? Kind of good, kind of not. It was good until it hit the yellow part. Would you want to eat it again? Yes. No. If I like take off the yellow part, yeah. Raise your hand if yes. Raise your hand if no. All right.